everybody, this is Perch. And uh, one of the artists that I, I really like and have always liked, uh, and the reason why is the artist has a, I don't want to use the word minimalist style because I think that doesn't quite sell what goes on, but uh, basically every ink stroke, every pencil stroke feels purposeful and it's it's not over rendered. The, the material winds up providing a lot of expression, a lot of kind of dynamic aspects to the characters, but uh, but in a very, very, I, I don't know, minimalist way. I, I'm not sure that's a, the way to put it, but the art is distinctive. It's unique and it, it feels expressive. And I, I think just, just a terrific artist. And I'm talking about Gorn Parlov. Now, I, I went through that explanation because, um, you know, there's, there's some uh, drama around this artist that has recently cropped up. And suddenly, you know, I think this, this artist is on the outs for a really weird reason. Well, I mean, the first reason is really weird. The second reason is, is entirely predictable. And, you know, in many ways, you could see it. You know, completely see it coming. Um, the but uh, you know, if you go back to things like Starlight, you, you look at kind of other images that this artist has done. He he's very very unique in what he puts out, and I think that's something that's that gets lost on people from time to time. Is there are, there are lots of artists out there that have very unique, very individual styles, and there's something about comics where it almost feels like the industry tries to kind of sand that down in, in many ways. It's, it's weird, right? If you stare at something by Walt Simonson, you immediately know it's by Walt Simonson. Um, if you stare at something by uh, Mike Didato, you, you immediately know it's, it's his work, even though his work, Didato's work, has shifted and altered a lot over the years. I mean, if you look at, you know, if you go back 20 years and you kind of follow the progression, you could see the progression of his style and his career and everything else in his artwork. But it, it feels like, and, and maybe this is just me, and maybe this is being at a lot of cons or talking in a lot of meetings, um, that there's always this attempt to kind of um, reduce uh, creators in, to some extent, ones that are extremely distinctive, down to kind of a more homogenized uh, style. And some creators go along with this, some don't. Many don't. For that matter, um, but I think Goran has a really unique style. It's instantly recognizable. If you if you look at it, you're like, "Yep, I know who that is," and uh, and it just so happens I, I happen to like it, so it works. But um, Goran got himself into some trouble for a really weird reason. The first reason, very very weird. Now now I should say, you know, for many years, Goran has made comments from time to time that have irritated quote unquote uh, a group of people. Um, you know, I, I think he's got a sense of humor. I think it's not always obvious and, and certainly online, it's, it's sometimes tough to know when somebody is joking and, and not. And we live in an era where if you joke about certain things, particularly, uh, things that, uh, kind of relate to the LGBTQ community, um, your, your odds of being misinterpreted or somebody taking offense or whatever it happens to be, uh, is skyrocket. Now, Gorin, uh, over his career and the comments he's made, it's, it, it seems from the outside that he started with more jokes and it slowly evolved into, um, I, I don't know, less humorful, <laughs> if you will, um, as he's gotten attacked for things that I think originally were jokes. So Gorin does this bit of uh, Spider-Woman uh, walking up the walls in heels. And to anyone with even a tiny amount of, of, of humor, um, it was clearly meant as a joke. Um, I don't know what prompted uh, him to, you know, create this image. I don't know what, what he was thinking at the time or what, uh, I, I don't know what, you know, what prompted this joke. I'm sure there was something that did it. Um, but it seemed to be least again from somebody looking at it, seemed to be poking fun at this idea of, you know, superhero uh, outfits, costumes for women are unrealistic. That they're often, uh, well, it's sexist or, you know, they, the woman has to run around in heels and other things. So Gorn was basically showing that uh, in through a, a page of artwork that, you know, yeah, absolutely, she can still stick to walls in heels and that, uh, you know, it, it could even be an asset based on kind of the angle of the heel and everything. There, again, there's no, I, I, I don't want to say no way, because clearly some people found a way. 
but it's it would be very hard not to look at his his image, his his post, and what he did there, and not think he was having a laugh. It was it was exceedingly clear he was uh, he was doing it tongue in cheek. Again, unless you have zero sense of humor, or you are so determined to hammer home your you know comics are sexist and the people who these costumes are sexist and everything else. Unless you are so determined to stay on message that like anything that, that remotely poked fun at that was an enemy, which is what it seemed to do. So he got a lot of very, what I would call bizarre responses from other comic pros and certainly, you know, people uh, in, in various comic news, that's N E W Z uh, sites, news sites uh, who were all over that. Just, just, you know, Oh, here's this guy again. What was weird is several people um, responded as if there was this long legacy of hateful stuff out of Gorin, which there, uh, again, there's there really wasn't. Um, he he would joke around, but I mean nothing, nothing that alarming, nothing that insensitive. He does not have a reputation for you know scandals. He hasn't been uh, pointed to in any kind of Me Too scenario uh, that I'm aware of. Now maybe something exists out there that. You know, I just haven't heard. Um, I've heard at cons, full disclosure, guys, that he's a little odd. But frankly, I always chalk that up to uh, to kind of an anti-American because the people who would say things like that um, often it, it's it's bizarre how many people when they talk about uh, you know bad con behavior, bad convention behavior, how many of the people are are non-American that they complain about. It's like, oh, this. This person is really weird. He just gives me a, whenever it's vague, like this person just gives me a weird vibe. It's like, I can't help but notice that uh, you're, you're, you know, you are coming at this and the person you're talking about happens to be, uh, you know, not, not American. It's one of the, by, just, just an aside, it's always one of the weird things where people um, uh, from the left, I, I will say this is more from the left than the right. It used to be, if you go back 20, 30 years, I think it was people more on the right. But on the left, there's there's complaint about uh, vague things. Like, uh, the, the person just gives me a weird vibe. 99 times out of 100, the person is from another country, and it's a lack of understanding about kind of cultural aspects of that other country, things that are acceptable over there. What I find bizarre is that the left wing, when I was a kid anyway, was always the one who was more understanding of other cultures. And now... It's, uh, it, it, I don't know, those are the people who first seem to complain. I, I'm speaking very generally, and I'm sure, you know, ah, blah, blah. I'm sure that there's, there's other versions of this. But I just, I find it weird. Because if you travel a lot, if you go to other countries, there's certainly things that are, that are different. If you go to Italy, for example, um, the way that men will, you know, interact with women is very different in a lot of cases than in the U.S. Now, that doesn't mean you have to like it. But you do have to recognize you are in a different country and there's different, you know, societal norms. But, but anyway, so he makes this post about Spider-Woman in heels. It was uh, lighthearted. It was a laugh. It was kind of funny. Um, the absurdity of Spider-Woman climbing a wall in heels was was visually funny. Um, it wasn't like she wasn't. Uh, I, it was just it was meant to be silly. It, in terms of sexiness, it, it didn't even come close to kind of the outrage stuff that uh, Frank Cho would do uh, with women bursting out of their tops and other things. It was just, it was, it was just a pretty harmless, what I would call G rated, fun, you know, G or PG rated fun. There was nothing in there that was, that, you know, that was any kind of issue. I remember actually showing the spider woman climbing the wall to my eight year old uh, because she was saying that, you know, heels looked hard to walk in. And I'm like, Hey, look at this spider woman can walk up the wall with heels. And she rolled her eyes like you're an idiot dad. And, you know, that, that, that was it. So uh, a lot of people got very angry. And um, and there was a, not a cancellation vibe, but it certainly was heading, the, the train was heading in that direction of a, this is, uh, yeah, and, and very hostile from other comic creators who I would assume would appreciate kind of the joke about uh, costumes and other things. But instead it was a, here's somebody defending the sexist status quo, etc., from, from other artists, other writers. Again, bizarrely, given that it was so clearly a joke. So in response to that, um, Gorin uh, started kind of, I, 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 I want to say punching back, 
but started making more flippant jokes that, that started to become less jokes around, um, uh, you know, I made some comments about trans, uh, you know, people and other things that that one, again, zero surprise um, that uh, that was going to get uh, anger and attention. Whereas the first one was absurd. Spider-Woman in heels. Uh, the second, him making comments, was clearly going to poke and piss off that audience, which is maybe what he was after. I, I don't know. Or maybe he's just annoyed. Could be either way. Could be a little of both. So uh, it, it, it all has kind of culminated into finally uh, Goran, I think, uh, you know, throwing his hands up, but still clearly having fun with the whole situation. He writes, uh, my resolution for 2022. Um, I will be a better person. I will tame my rage. I will take my pills regularly. I will do and post a lot of nice comment, comics and illustrations. I will not get into fights with LGBTQs and feminazis. I will not review movies anymore. They are all crap anyway. <laughs> so um, I, that, that uh, you know, they, that's the, that is a textbook example of a disingenuous apology, by the way. <laughs> Funny. Funny. I think if you find yourself using the word uh, feminazi in your apology, you, you clearly are uh, are not being serious. But uh, but anyway, that's he posts that, and sure enough, you know the you know, people get after him again, and you know everybody's angry some more, and you know on it on it goes. Here's my my uh, here's why I bring all this up because this this got a bunch of people's attention, and then this is a bad artist, and he's problematic, and all the rest. It feels like though with each person who comes out, and when I say come out, I mean you know makes a joke or something, and everybody jumps all over it. It's it's the the reaction is a little less each time because it's it's people just gone to the well with this too too often. So what's interesting is that gets a lot of attention. Uh, a bunch of message boards, you know, blow up with this is a hateful guy. You know, the, the usual suspects. Oh yeah, I've always known he was bad, etc. And it gets a lot of like finger pointing. Meanwhile, at almost the exact same time, um, posts like uh, Daniel Kibblesmith writes, "It's wild that we're definitely going to have an American Hitler, and we all know it." And there's like four or five people openly vying for the gig, and we also can't do anything. And people are responding to this, talking about, uh, I, my dad died yesterday. He cried the day the Nazis marched on Charlottesville. He was admitted to a psych ward on January 7th. The events after you know January 6th sent him to a place he never recovered from. This, this very over-the-top, very uh, alarming kind of stuff. And you do not see a bunch of posts, a bunch of... Uh, tweets, uh, the, you know, the, the Kibblesmith post where he, he basically announced that there's American Hitler and he goes on to talk about how the world's blowing up and it's the environment's crashing and everything is going to, you know, it's, he's blackpilled. He's absolutely taken that black pill and it's got, you know, two, almost, you know, 2000, more than 2,500 likes and a bunch of tweets and, and just a bunch of people all over that. And you don't see people going, Hey, look at this crazy person saying crazy stuff. You don't see that. Instead, his post is accepted like, yep, a bunch of the quote tweets are like, yep, this right here, this is a meaningful thread, please read. It's not a meaningful thread, it's a thread full of insanity. And, and so I, I just show this to you in the sense of, no, this isn't a post about social media. It's a post about, it's interesting what people have decided is acceptable and what they haven't. We're, we're living in a world where making a joke, and it was, again, a very simple joke. Spider Woman was not wagging her ass or dressed in a thong or talking about how she was going to hump the Empire State Building or anything like that. She was. It was like, see, you can walk on heels if you bend your foot back. And it was. That's clearly a joke. This is a joke that once upon a time would have been printed in what the or one of the humor mags. It it absolutely felt like something like that. That was deemed hateful and problematic and must be stopped and toxic. Whereas uh, other people in comics posting about how the world is coming to an end, we've got multiple Hitlers running around, and that everything is 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 dying, and uh, you know people just just death and destruction is like, yep, this is this is this is what we want to see. That's bizarre, and it says a lot about where our communication is where jokes are uh, alarming and terrible and we have to defeat them. And, and again, tame jokes. 
I'm not talking about Goran's later posts where he says there's no, no trans people or whatever he was doing there. I, I'm not that, that stuff again, that, that came later. The hatred that piled on over spider woman wearing heels, climbing a wall uh, was what people were all in on that, but not all in on, absolute black pilled posts about how everything was about to die. That's okay. Applauded in some cases, retweeted, uh, amplified. If you're talking about what needs to change in comics or frankly society, it's that jumping all over, uh, lighthearted, stupid humor. And, and again, you may be listening to this right now. You may be a strong ally LGBTQ ally and everything else, you may have been offended by Gorn's later posts. That's fine. I, I have up on the screen, or you should have seen the, the Spider Woman climbing a wall in heels. There is nothing sexist, offensive about that. Sorry, there isn't. It was clearly a joke. It, and, and it was not a joke against sexism. It was a joke against the absurdity of costumes. If you're jumping all over things that are meant to be humorful, light, poking fun at ourselves, and you are amplifying, agreeing, and nodding your head along with things that are talking about the death and destruction of all humanity and fear tactics around Hitler, um, you have a very warped, confused view of what is harmful and what is not. And that sums up a lot of aspects around comics in a nutshell. Anyway, I still like Goran's art. I, uh, you know, if I was him, I wouldn't have started poking the audience that was coming after me, but I completely understand why you would do it. You know, when a bunch of people are, are attacking you over something absurd and they were, you know, what else are you going to do? You, 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 you poke back. I get it. It's, uh, that, that part of the fight was inevitable and, um, and maybe frustrating in the sense of it. You just, you just knew that was going to spiral into nonsense, but I, I don't know. I'd like to see more jokes about uh, superheroes climbing walls and heels. I think it's silly and fun. That's, that's what's good about comics. I'd like to see less material about how I should be scared of multiple Hitlers and the world coming to an end. That's just me. What about you? Let me know in the comments below, and thanks for listening.